you are if you haven't liked the video till now and if i talk about the lineups for both the teams it is 4-1-2-3 is the formation for england women's and it's 4-1-2-3 for denmark as well so the lineup this is how it looks like orbs the uh, the keeper for england in the back they have daily greenwood bright bronze in the center walsh and stanway and there is toon as well in the front we have kelly russo and james but denmark women's their keeper is christensen sevisk and in the back pedersen boy well vehi then in the center home guard cool hasbo and in the center we have in the front we have thompson harder and madsen and if we talk about the head-to-head -head contest or if we, if we talk about the recent form for both the teams by england women's they have won three games lost a game and uh, one game has been drawn for the england against uh, portugal and they lost against australia recent form for uh, denmark they have won four games out of their last five games and they lost one game against spanish team by 2-0 against these two teams head-to-head -head matches if we see in 2019 england won the game and england out of their last five games won four games and one game has been drawn so I believe it's uh, England who have a great opportunity to win this game. But as I said guys, this is my prediction only. I believe only that England is going to win tonight. But we still have a lot of time to go. And the time will tell us guys who is going to win tonight. If you have just joined me, make sure to like the video. And also you need to subscribe the channel as well. So whenever we go live, you will get the notification for each in every match so make sure to do that because as i said the game is about to get underway between these two teams and we have already got the lineups so this is how the lineups looks like for both the teams and uh, the li lineup is looking really nice here. why haven't i put it this one here this is how the lineup looks like for england and this is how it looks like for the other side. So make sure if you haven't joined us till now. To join us and like this video. And also you need to subscribe our channel as well. So do your predictions quickly. Because the game is about to get underway between England women's and the... So it's England playing against the Denmark england fifa ranks number four opened up their fifa world cup campaign with a narrow one nil win over haiti and while that ended a two games winless sequence of which they failed to score draw one and one loss so uh it was far from the flying start they hoped for a georgia stand way retaken penalty eventually proved the difference but serena wigman's side were also in bet indebted to some fine saves from goalkeeper mary herbs to preserve their victory now still no team can win or lose a world cup on the first match day uh, and uh, with three points in the back, Linus know they must improve as they bid to make three consecutive top four finishes at the tournament. Next up, the latest installment in series of closely fought head-to-head -head contest this century with Denmark. 13 ranked, none of which featured more than three goals. Four, win, four wins and one loss. The Danes left it late in their first World Cup appearance in 2007. With Am Amelie Wenskar netting in the closing stages to secure 1-0 win over China. 
a game which they didn't register a short target until half time but growing into matches has been a theme of red and whites who haven't netted a first half goal in of any of their last four internationals three wins and one loss as lara son sondergaard side have haven't stuck before the break against england in any of those have mentioned five most recent head-to-heads that's one pattern they might need to end if they are prevail Daily. Under the trend. Daily switches play to bronze on the near channel just over halfway plays forward towards Chloe Kelly who runs into the center England now in the attacking half midway through down towards the right hand edge of the penalty area with Lauren James drops out towards the edge of the D again back to the left hand side and it's Daly to the edge of the penalty area two now brings the ball up to the 18 yard line left side of the penalty area once again Stanway turns onto a left foot gets the cross up towards the far post bounces across towards bronze just couldn't keep the ball in play as it rolls out for a Denmark goal kick Fleming Christensen will be happy to take Serena Wiegmann has lost only one of 20 games in a major tournament fantastic feat won it with a home nation the Netherlands in 2007 the European Championships won it with England of course looking to push England towards a World Cup victory as well Denmark though with possession across their back line Silveke plays down the right channel lost in the air and it's taken down well by Russo challenged on the ball and just on halfway on the far side of the field England have themselves a threat and Sundergaard watches on in his seat at the moment in the technical area and in the dugout as England progress forward once again down the right hand side taken forward by Chloe Kelly just loses out on the ball and gives away a throw in they play inside the attacking half though for England Denmark Inside their own 45. Given away from the throw in, and it's taken down the line by Kelly once again, putting pressure on as it's cleared by the Saga. The throw into England, Bronze will walk forward, picks up the ball, he throws back into play quickly up to the edge of the penalty area. Bronze down the line, gets a quick one two, falls out nicely towards Russo as England work their way back to halfway. Still on this near side, Stanway. Down the right hand channel. Stanway once again. Just loses out on possession. It's clipped forward by Harder into the centre circle. And regain possession. Just on the edge of the halfway line. Forward from Kira Walsh down the right channel. Now running up to the edge of the penalty area in the byline. Chloe Kelly trying to take the ball past Katrine Versch gets the ball away down the left hand channel Few loose challenges going in in the opening five minutes of this match a very closely contested game between these two sides always has been we look back no more than three goals scored that's five games six games between the two sides beaten England in just over 18 years the Lionesses have the ball back inside their own half Bright sporting the captain's armband just clears the ball down the line away for throw into Denmark in the final third 15 yards away from the byline they might take it further back as Verge has the ball in hand throw down the line waiting for someone to make the run for it Versch throws up towards the edge of the penalty area it's scooped across by Madsen given away in possession and England can chase forward out on the left Lauren James just stops in a track as she towards the edge of the centre circle and across England's back line forward by Bright out towards Bronze 
on this near side, brings it up towards the touchline, plays it towards the edge of the penalty area, Russo comes out to charge and get the ball, fist across by Stanway, given away very cheaply, but Walshery collects the ball, still Lauren James now on the edge of the area, goes for the strike, James, what a goal for England! Lauren James, who came into the starting eleven, fires England into the lead, only six minutes in, and the England supporters inside the stadium jump for joy. And Lauren James gets the opener. It's England 1, Denmark 0. It was right on the edge of the 18-yard box. A great pass from Rachel Daly. And Lauren James opened up space on her right foot. Curled the ball from the edge of the D. No chance for Lene Christensen to get anywhere near it. And England, with a superb goal, make it 1-0. Supporters behind the goal knew that was going into the net before Lauren James did. The smile on her face says it all. As Denmark get things back underway, looking to push forward quickly. Cool towards the left hand side played down towards Verge who goes for the lobbed attempt on goal Mary Earps just tracking back telling the team to calm down she had it under control Verge with no other options really went for the cheeky attempt to beat the keeper over the line Earps read it well and England have the ball across their back line once again Millie Bright brings the ball down this near side over halfway she goes from a centre back position down towards bronze plays a quick pass this is out of possession though back towards bright once again as the ball stayed in play on the near side bright now switches back into her own half up to the centre circle right on the white paint is Alex Greenwood down towards bright on this near side once again further forward through to Stanway, Stanway switches play out to the left hand side and Daly just about gets there Stanway, edge of the final third further down the line once again played across by Toon back out towards Bronze Bronze now it's on the left hand side Daly might get the cross in as she goes up to the edge of the penalty area, Daly gets the block from Thompson and watches the ball roll away for a corner with the set piece opportunity 1-0 up after 6 minutes Lauren James with a superb effort just on the edge of the D curled into the corner she's waiting on the edge of the penalty area again and in the corner Greenwood going from the far side to take Bright Russo in the box Bronze makes her way forward as well Greenwood plays a corner short up towards the near post laid back by Kelly back towards Greenwood again down the line Kelly will try and chase on does get there and wins the corner as well didn't quite read it the way that Greenwood wanted Simone Roy just got a toe in last in the ball away and another corner which Greenwood throws her arms in the air for and towards the penalty area this time headed on by Bronze and flicked on again inside the six yard area overhead attempt from Chloe Kelly over the bar and away for a goal kick lovely floated corner from Greenwood on the far side Bronze helped the ball on Kelly just waited for the ball to drop inside the six yard box tried overhead it didn't quite pay off but a lively start from the Lionesses Ten minutes in, England 1, Denmark 0 live on flashscore.co.uk and the mobile app as well as England chase forward once again. Let's see Russo this time trying to pin down possession. England do across their back line. It's knocked further back to Greenwood. Resumes position. Centre back. Greenwood will try and bring the ball forward. Looking out left. Instead goes right down towards... Bronze flicks on well. Bronze will try and chase on, but Verge 
Pizza to it. Back in possession though by Denmark. Bronze down the line towards Kelly. Just about keeps the ball in in the corner. Cleared away on the toe of Balisaga. Down the line again. Denmark struggling to get out of their own half at the moment. As they keep the ball on this near side. Madsen up towards halfway, loses out and Greenwood once again goes with the chipped attempt upfield to Russo. Chester down towards Stanway. Back to Bronze. Bronze now up to the edge of the penalty area. Stanway will try and turn. Felt as though she was fouled on, given by the referee. And then throwing in challenges to win the ball back every time Denmark try and push forward. And another one from Greenwood in the centre circle there. Gives England possession back once again. Bronze just tying the shoelace. Pulling the socks up. Stop the pass from Bright. But instead Greenwood will go down the left-hand channel. Daly waits on the far touchline and receives on the edge of the final third it's knocked through with a deflection falls nicely towards Ella Toon now inside the penalty area Ella Toon up towards the byline just cuts the ball back out to the left once again still an opportunity here for England crossing towards the box cleared away by Boyd back out towards Lauren James though quick one two from James still the ball in a decent position feeds the ball through towards two now in the corner flag back to James again further back towards Greenwood Greenwood with a 1-2 with bronze and towards James now James up towards the byline might be able to pull the ball back into the penalty area blocked again this time by Vicky Savecki and away for a corner again to England to get going against NT in the first game Showing better signs now as Greenwood with the corner floated in out swinging with the left foot up towards the head of Bright Bright just hits the ball backwards though towards the left hand side with Greenwood Greenwood to bronze back to Greenwood again and then just keeping hold of possession on halfway now towards James on the left hand side James further down to Daly Daly plays backwards it's kept just on halfway at the moment by Greenwood lovely ball down towards James who works away into the final third cutting back in field towards the 18 yard line a triangle of passing out on that left hand side at the moment for England James back towards halfway once again Greenwood will look to distribute from the left side of halfway cut and intercepted by Hasbo though back into possession with Stanway down on the left hand side once again England keeping the ball inside the attacking half Walsh over on that left as well James out towards Stanway Stanway chips the ball up towards the penalty area Bronze was waiting intercepted at the first instance by Madsen cleared away for an England throw by Madsen again Bronze throws back into play clips the ball to Toon on the right edge of the penalty area further out wide with Bronze goes for the cross into the box almost onto the head of Jones and cleared away on the far side by Thompson struggling start for Denmark just can't seem to clear the ball out of their own half and hold on to possession at the same time and looking for the long throw perhaps Walsh throws in towards the penalty area it takes a few deflections on the way through cleared away out on the far side Thompson dropped down on the ball by Kira Walsh and there will be a free kick this time to Denmark 15 minutes gone England 1 Denmark nil. live on flashscore.co.uk and the mobile app as well wherever you're joining us from this morning it's great to have you with us so I believe it's uh, England who have a great opportunity to win this game 
but as i said guys this is my prediction only i believe only that england is gonna win tonight but we still have a lot of time to go and the time will tell us guys who is gonna win tonight if you have just joined me make sure to like the video and also you need to subscribe the channel as well so whenever we go live you will get the notification for each so it's england playing against the denmark england fifa ranks number four opened up their fifa world cup campaign with a narrow one nil win over haiti and while that ended a two games winless sequence of which they failed to score a draw one and one loss so uh, it was far from the flying start they hoped for a georgia stand way retaken penalty eventually proved the difference but serena wigman's side were also in bet indebted to some fine saves from goalkeeper mary herbs to preserve their victory now still no team can win or lose a world cup on the first match day uh, and uh, with three points in the back, Linus know they must improve as they bid to make three consecutive top four finishes at the tournament. Next up, the latest installment in series of closely fought head-to-head -head contest this century with Denmark. 13 ranked, none of which featured more than three goals. Four, with, uh, four wins and one loss. The Danes left it late in their first World Cup appearance in 2007. With um, Amelie Wenskard netting in the closing stages to secure 1 0 win over China. A game which they didn't register a short target until half time. But growing into matches has been a theme of red and whites who haven't netted a first half goal in of any of their last four internationals three wins and one loss as lara son Sondergaard's side have haven't stuck before the break against england in any of those have promotioned five most recent head-to-heads that's one pattern they might need to end if they are prevail Another trend they would like to overturn is losing their all previous World Cup matches fellow. UEFA representatives albeit on each occasion they did at least get on score sheet. England's Alicia Russo looked dangerous against Haiti and another strike from her could be a good omen for her country. Has won all eight of goal scoring appearances to nil, hoping to stop that from uh, happening. Denmark's Vascards has netted after 55th minute in both of last two appearances for club and country. England won the corner count in each of their last seven international matches. Well, the prediction what do you think? Who is gonna win tonight? Let me know in the comments. But if you have just joined me guys make sure to like the video if you haven't liked the video till now and if i talk about the lineups for both the teams it is 4-1-2-3 is the formation for england women's and it's 4-1-2-3 for denmark as well so the lineup this is how it looks like orbs the uh, the keeper for england in the back they have daily greenwood bright bronze in the center walsh and stanway and there is stone as well in the front we have kelly russo and james but then mark women's their keeper is christensen sevisk then the, in the back pedersen boy well vehi then in the center home guard cool Hasbo and in the center we have in the front we have Thompson, Harder and Madsen. And if we talk about the head-to-head -head contest or if we, if we talk about the recent form for both the teams. For England women's they have won 
three games lost a game and uh, one game has been drawn for the England against uh, Portugal and they lost against Australia recent form for uh, Denmark they have won four games out of their last five games and they lost one game against Spanish team by 2-0 against these two teams head-to-head -head matches if we see in 2019 England won the game and England out of their last five games won four games and one game has been drawn so I believe it's uh, England who have a great opportunity to win this game but as I said guys this is my prediction only I believe only that England is gonna win tonight but we still have a lot of time to go and the time will tell us guys who is gonna win tonight if you have just joined me make sure to like the video and also you need to subscribe the channel as well so whenever we go live you will get the notification for each so it's England playing against the Denmark England FIFA ranks number four opened up their FIFA World Cup campaign with a narrow 1-0 win over Haiti and while that ended a two games winless sequence of which they failed to score draw one and one loss so uh, it was far from the flying start they hoped for a georgia stand way retaken penalty eventually proved the difference but serena wigman's side were also in bet indebted to some fine saves from goalkeeper Mary Earps to preserve their victory. Now, still no team can win or lose a World Cup on the first match day. Uh, and uh, with three points in the bag, Linus know they must improve as they bid to make three consecutive top four finishes at the tournament next up the latest installment in series of closely fought head-to-head -head contest this century with Denmark 13 ranked none of which featured more than three goals four with uh, four wins and one loss the Danes left it late in their first World Cup appearance in 2007 with um, Amelie Wendt's card netting in the closing stages to secure 1-0 win over China. A game which they didn't register a short target until half time. But growing into matches has been a theme of red and whites. Who haven't netted a first half goal in of any of their last four internationals. Three wins and one loss. As Lara Sondergaard's side have, haven't have stuck before the break against England in any of those aforementioned five most recent head-to-heads. That's one pattern they might need to end if they are prevail. Another trend they would like to overturn is losing their all previous World Cup matches fellow. UEFA representatives albeit on each occasion. That it at least get on score sheet. England's Alicia Russo looked dangerous against Haiti, and another strike from her could be a good omen for her country. As one all eight of goal scoring appearances.